My name is John Marine, and you're watching John Marine Tube, my YouTube channel. Coming to you from Houston, Texas, USA, my hometown, and proudly celebrating 100 plus subscribers in nine months on YouTube. Thank you very much for your kind support. For this video, I want to share kind of a brief overview as to how I got into electronica and why I love this genre of music so much. Now for the most part, I've listened to hip hop, rap, and R&B for most of my life, with too many to name that I like. Too many to name that I like also include smooth jazz. While I'm not really a blues person, I do I do respect the great the late great Tyrone Davis. While I'm not a rock music fanatic like a lot of other people are, I am selective as to what kinds of rock music I like, such as Breaking Benjamin. And even though my parents have nowadays listened to country music, I just can't get into country music to, to say that I actually like listening to it. Even though I do love listening to Taylor Swift, and I'm a fan of, and I'm respectful of Dolly Parton. But electronica is the kind of music I always fall back on and that I always love. You know, I'm doing this video on, well, basically a Saturday night, early Sunday morning. And this is really the time of day or night in which that kind of music is in my mind and that's the kind of music that keeps me going this time of night on this day and on, on this night. My love affair for this kind of music somewhat began in the mid 90s when I was listening to artists and groups such as uh, Crystal Waters, Real McCoy, and these were just names at the time, Real McCoy, Amber. I'm going to get to Amber later in this video because Actually, let me get to her right now. Amber is one of my favorites in in the realm of, of dance pop music. I mean, she's been a veteran of this kind of music for fifteen something years. She has a sweet, she has a wonderful voice, along with some great vocals and great beats to go along with it. She's a fantastic artist and someone I really respect. But then, my love of this kind of music somewhat exploded as I was playing games like Wipeout XL and Wipeout 64. More importantly, this is where I learned some of the heavyweight names such as Crystal Method, Future Sound of London, The Prodigy, Chemical Brothers, and groups like that. And, and there was a program that I liked watching on TV, which I think was one of the real contributors to you know ha a mainstream voice for us fans of this kind of music to speak out it was the old amp show back on MTV AMP that is you know this is where I started seeing music videos for the first time ever of, of, of dance music songs and that even included a uh, a wipeout style video of and when I mean wipeout I mean wipeout excel not the not the hit ABC show but th this is where I heard Fluke's Atom Bomb song, which I love. And there's a lot of other songs that I love from a lot of other artists. I tend to like the, the 90s more than I do uh, this decade in terms of electronica. Not to say that there aren't any, any favorites in this decade, though. So the thing is just that I've loved all kinds of music from all kinds of people within the realm of electronica. And I kind of have what I guess you would call kind of a menu, like a restaurant menu for this kind of music. So if you want to liken this to a menu at a restaurant, you could say that the appetizers would be dance remixes of songs and even some light uh, dance music. But when it comes to about Saturday at 10 p.m. or something, that's when you start getting into the trance and some of the hard-hidden music. To me, that's the cue to listen to great trance music from people like, like DJ Tieso, Paul Van Dyke, Paul Oakenfold, and, 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 and stuff like that. <coughs> and it was sometime back in 2005 or 2004 when, along with, with the Dish Network channels, you started hearing Sirius XM music, and I would constantly listen to now Sirius XM 36 and Sirius XM 38. 
one is current dance and one is mostly about, you know, major dance music. And even on my Sandus Sansa Fuse MP3 player, I have a whole bunch of uh, dance music songs and electronic songs. It's just something to fall back on, and, and it's just really youthful, energetic, and pulsating. That's what I love most about this kind of music. It keeps me going, especially on the weekends. I even listen to it from time to time during the weekdays. You know, when I'm just when I'm just feeling like I need a buzz. Now, in future videos, I might do a piece by piece thing on, uh, on what I love about various kinds of electronica. And and when it comes down to just listening to it nowadays, it seems like I'm mostly relegated to the internet. Or I could just remember listening to 104.1 KRBE here in Houston with the beat, which goes from 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. And one time went, and a few times went from 10 p.m. Saturday to 4 a.m. Sunday. But I have a lot of love for this music, and, and even songs that even remind me of some of the better dance music songs. Some of today's examples would include Closer by Neo, Forever by Chris Brown, and those are just a few examples. But this kind of music really resonates with me, and still does to this day. Maybe it's just sad that you don't really hear this on the radio much, or, or in mainstream radio much. Some would say it's a good thing, some say it's probably not a good thing, but this is the kind of music that I've loved and still love to this day. Even when I look up from, from MySpace profiles and such, I'm usually looking nowadays for a lot of trance music, a lot of progressive house, and music like that. I love this kind of music, maybe you do too. But again, in, in future installments, I might share piece by piece what I love about different kinds of electronic music. But for now, my name is John Marine. Love and peace. Have a great day and take care. Please keep subscribing and keep, please keep watching my videos. May God bless all of you.